Hi, everybody. Welcome to the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus with Richard Jefferson. I'm Nancy Newman. The final score on Sunday at Barclays Center, the Nets fall to the Thunder, 129-116. And Richard, definitely a turning point that third quarter. Brooklyn outscored 37-18. Yeah, no, it, it was crazy. If you really watch this entire game, the first quarter the Nets came out with that intensity, that focus. It was great to have Kevin Durant uh, on the floor to see him back and, and and playing with his teammates. But slowly but surely, that second quarter, they had a long stretch, about over a five-minute stretch where they didn't score a bucket. But they kind of picked it up there the last two minutes. And then in the second half, you just could never see any sort of defensive rhythm. Ton of turnovers, got killed on the fast break. Uh, there just there wasn't much fight, and I think that's part of the reason. You know, even we talked about it at you know a little bit at halftime. We talked about it a little bit early in the post game, and then Steve Nash came out and pretty much echoed everything that we were saying. One bright spot definitely for Brooklyn, Kevin Durant, returning after three games on the shelf and poured in a season-high 36 points on 11 of 21 from the field. Karis LeVert adding 21. Not enough, though, for a net squad that gave up a season-high worst 66 points in the paint. Afterwards, Coach Nash, not a happy camper. I thought the second quarter was turnovers, you know, unforced turnovers, kicking the ball over the gym, up 15. Lack of focus gets them right back in the game. Third quarter, I mean, 66 points in the paint tonight, 72 points in the second half. It's just pride. You know, no matter what defense you're in, you got to sit down and guard someone. And we didn't guard tonight. Uh, that was that was my follow up um, expounding on that. You know, how much of what we're seeing out there defensively just comes down to personal pride with the matchup. I mean, that's, that's got to be it. I mean, you can get beat. You can have a hard time guarding someone. But I didn't, I didn't sense the pride. I didn't sense the competitive fire in the second half. No, I thought it was a lack of respect. And we just got to learn from this and get better. I mean, I wouldn't say it was a struggle. You know, I definitely would love to be out there with my teammates. But this is circumstances. Um, you know, COVID just put us under these circumstances and a lot of guys around the league are under protocol. So, you know, it's uh, it something we knew coming into the season that may happen. So I wasn't too upset about it. I'm glad I'm back playing, though. What do you feel has to change on the defensive side of the ball in order for this team to be successful? We just got to get consistent at it. I felt like we played some great defensive games when this past week when I was out and, um, um, you know, throughout the season, I just think we've been up and down on that side of the ball. And, you know, it's a matter of time before we start to put it all together, put it all together and uh, become more consistent with it. And that's going to happen over time. The Nets return to action on Tuesday when they host the Nuggets. Our coverage starts with the pregame show at 7 p.m. For Richard Jefferson, I'm Nancy Newman. Thanks for watching Nets Postgame Plus.